Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the different view options you have using the Compass app from Apple. We're gonna be doing it on our Apple Watch SE. It'll actually be the same if you've got, I think, any of the Apple Watch Series 6 or later models. Uh, I'm gonna keep this pretty basic. All we're gonna be doing is showing you the different ways you can change your view using that app. So let's go ahead and let's jump into it. We're gonna be using the Compass app, so I'm simply gonna to go to it. You've got basically five different view options. Each view is going to gradually give you more detail, but make it a little bit harder to see. This is your basic view, which is pretty much just gonna show you your directional pointer, the direction that you're heading, and the degrees that you're heading. Now on every one of these screens, you're gonna see this little icon up here. That icon is going to take you to your compass details. Your compass details will show you kind of the same thing, but you can also see your incline, your elevation, your latitude and longitude. It'll get you to your waypoints, your bearing settings, and you can set your target elevation, uh, target elevation alert. I'm gonna close that. We're not gonna to talk too much about the, the detail screen. We're just gonna be looking at how do we change the view here. So if you don't like this view, if you simply turn the crown, you can go to a different view. Now you'll notice this one's a little bit harder to see. There's a little bit more going on here. We still have our icon to get to our details. We've got this little icon down here at the bottom left and this one at the bottom right. The bottom right one is going to be for you to do uh, navigation. It'll basically record your navigation so that you can track back to wherever you started from. This one's gonna to be to get you to your saved waypoints or to save a waypoint. And then this bottom one is gonna be your elevation. On every one of these screens, if you click on that elevation, it'll show you a 3D view of where you are, your elevation, and your elevation in relation to your saved waypoints. That's what those little circles you're seeing there are my saved waypoints. I should mention that when you're in this screen, you cannot change your view. You can basically pan further out, do more of a bird's eye view, or you can go further in with your crown. But if you wanna change your view, you have to get out of the 3D view by clicking the bottom again. So 3D view, non-3D view. I jumped down a couple uh, screen. So this was our second option. This is our third option. Again, each one's going to give you a little bit more detail, but it's probably a little bit harder to see when you're navigating. Turn the crown again. You've got this option. You can navigate to any one of those waypoints. I'm not going to show you that here. I just want to show you your different view options. And then this is your final one. Basically, you can zoom in zoom out on this one but that's it if you want to go back to one of the earlier ones you just basically turn your crown the opposite way simple stuff i've done some other videos in the past that get more into saving waypoints and navigating just wanted to show you how you can navigate it's a little bit tricky when you get in there because it's like how do i get on that screen whatever just want to show you your different views on the compass app i hope the video helped thanks for watching